Okay, so I did a video the other day of Windows 11 running on my Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig. I'm actually running on my Raspberry Pi 400 today, and if I just press the button, you see the green light comes on, uh, and this will start up. I'm using an M.2 drive. This is the Argon One case with an M.2 drive, but you can also do this tutorial on a micro SD card. Uh, I'm going to use a USB stick today, and these Samsung bars are faster than micro SD cards and a really good price and really good compatibility on the Pi. If you've got an SSD drive, uh, you may find that it will work uh, depending on the cable. I've found that Windows 10 is really quite fussy on first boot, uh, so when you're doing the initial installation, it can be really quite fussy on a USB SATA cable. So, as I say, the Samsung bar is a good mix of very compatible pretty inexpensive but it's faster than an SD card right so it's booted up so let's just log in and just show you how quick it all starts up it is really fast so let's have a look at the settings and show you what I've overclocked to so on the task manager uh, we can have a look at performance and you can see I'm clocked at 2.3 gigahertz and the Pi 400 is passive so there's no active cooling but it has run at this temperature, playing videos and doing all sorts of things for a long time and been no trouble at all. I've also installed lots of things into it, just sort of playing around with it. And uh, yeah, it hasn't crashed, hasn't been an issue at all. So let's close these down and let's play a bit of a YouTube video because it's a lot better at 2300. The sound is coming through my Bluetooth speaker. If I right click and do stats for nerds, uh, now it's going to drop frames at the start, but as it goes on, you'll see that it's not dropping loads of frames. So 57 out of 597, it doesn't seem to be rising on the drop frames. Yeah, still at 57. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be going up, and it looks pretty decent to my eye. So let's quit out of that. So I'm going to need a Windows 10 computer for this first bit. So I'm using this Ace PC. Here's my USB stick, uh, which I'm going to put Windows 11 onto. So plug that into a socket, USB 3.0 is going to be faster. Okay, so first up we need to download an image of Windows 11. So open the web browser, type in WOR Pi 4, and you'll get a downloads option here. There's a few things we need from this page, but the first bit we're going to do, just to make sure everything works fine, is to download the image. So I use this one, uup.rg, and then we're going to say Windows Insider version. Windows 11, very important you pick the ARM image because that's designed for ARM CPUs, which is what the Pi uses. Select language, so United Kingdom. I'm going to go for the professional version of Windows 11. Oh, this has changed now. This said Windows 10 the other day. Uh, and then type of download, so ISO compiler. And we're going to click on the top option here. It's worth checking before we do that that there's nothing in the downloads folder. Uh, it just makes this whole process a bit easier. So there's nothing in my downloads folder at the moment if you clear that out to make space for it. So let's click on that. And you can see here that it was blocked. So if I click on these three dots next to the blocked file, I can do keep, show more, and keep anyway. So that's finished now. So if I open the folder that it's in, you can see it here. So if I now press and hold shift and right click that file, I can do run as administrator, more info, run anyway, obviously do all this at your own risk. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. And this bit takes a while. Uh, keep an eye on it at the first bit because I have had it drop out once before where it didn't continue on. Um, but uh, if it goes on for a couple of minutes, it's generally going to go all the way to the end. And uh, we'll just wait until it says it's all done. Okay, so at this point it seems to get stuck and it stays on this screen for quite some time without any recognition for it changing. Uh, rather than push any buttons, it's a good time to like and subscribe to my channels. You'll find over 500 Pi videos on there. If you haven't got to this point and it's failed before now, then it's probably down to folder location. Uh, as long as you're using a standard Windows setup and you've got enough space, uh, just make sure you're trying to use the same folder as I am. So I downloaded to the download folder. You might find your download has gone somewhere else, so it's better off that it goes in the download folder. Some locations won't allow this to work. 
Okay, that's all finished now. You can see done, press any key to exit. And you can see where all the files are now. So this is everything it's created. And the bit that we're interested in is this file, this disk image file. Uh, this is what we need for the next step. So now we can go back on the browser to the download section on the WOR site. So download version 212. So you can see that's downloading now. So once that's finished, we'll open the folder location again. I can minimize this now. So let's create a folder on the desktop. And we'll call it WOR212. And we want to open this folder up we just downloaded. Control A and drag it all into that new folder. Now if we open up that folder, there'll be a WOR tool in here. So if we double click that, more info and run anyway. And yes. So next, select the device. So in my case, it's a Pi 4 or a Pi 400. Storage device. Now in my case, it's that 64 gig uh, Samsung bar USB stick. So hit next. The image file, so we need to navigate to the downloads folder, which it's already picked. Click on that and hit open. You can see it's mounting the image. It tells me it's Windows 11 Pro. Hit next. Use the latest package and accept. And next, use the latest firmware. And next, you can just hit next. This bit is a bit of a recap so you can see that everything looks okay and hit install. And let it do its thing. It will tell you when it's finished. Okay, so installation is completed, so we'll hit finish and we can close all this down and we can shut down the Windows computer at this stage. Okay, so Windows computer shut down. I can remove the USB stick from that and I'm going to pop it in the Pi I'm going to use. This is a 4 gig Pi in here. I'm just going to put it in one of the USB 3 sockets. Uh, important to have the mouse and keyboard. This is my mouse keyboard dongle. I didn't have it in when I did the other install um, and uh, it didn't seem to matter, um, but it's good to have it in from the off because when it's doing the initial install, you want to mess with it as little as possible. Right, so power. HDMI and I'm going to use Ethernet as well just because it makes it easier. So let's switch on and you want to keep pressing the escape key on boot and then you get this menu. I'll switch back into screen capture now. Use the cursors to go down to device manager, Raspberry Pi configuration and advanced configuration and then limit RAM to 3 gig so you want to disable that and then hit escape Keep pressing escape and yes, escape, continue and enter the reset. And then just leave it and let it go through all the booting sequences on its own. Okay, so far so good. And when this happened the first time, I thought there was an error with it and then gradually the window symbol starts to come through so you know everything is going well. Okay, so no help needed on all of these bits. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to see if I can sign in without a Microsoft account. I've got a Microsoft account, and I usually sign in that way, but I'm just going to see if it's possible to do it without it. So sign in options, offline account. So I'm presuming that offline account is uh, just not signed into Microsoft, but I'm not sure, and I don't want to take the risk. So I think what I'm going to do is sign in with my Microsoft account. And at this stage, it's nearly done. doesn't take much longer now. Okay, so that's all booted up fine. I've plugged in my 3.5mm jack, uh, which is going to give me sound through the speaker. And sound is supported on the Pi 4, but not on the Pi 400. For the Pi 400, you're going to have to use something like a USB sound card. These are very inexpensive. Uh, or you can use a Bluetooth adapter and use Bluetooth audio, again with a Bluetooth speaker. Um, and also, from the Wi-Fi front, this Vonitz adapter allows you to use the Ethernet connection to supply Wi-Fi. I've got a separate video on it, uh, but because I've got an Ethernet cable handy, I've plugged in Ethernet, and that's how I'm getting internet. Right, let's go back into screen capture.
and I've got this temporary paging file message. Uh, now I've had this with Windows 10 before and I just say OK uh, and just pick what it defaults to. You can see you can adjust performance for programs or background services. I didn't have this with the M.2 drive so in the video I showed previously I didn't get this message come up. It just boots and, and there are no messages. But if you dismiss that it seems to work absolutely fine. Right so let's improve the performance a little bit so uh, let's call up uh, if I press the Windows key uh, and type in startup so startup apps and let's turn off Microsoft OneDrive I'm not worried about the Microsoft security one I'm going to leave that on uh, while we're in this setting let's type in performance and you can see here adjust the appearance and performance of Windows so let's click on that and uh, adjust for best performance so that turns off lots of the sort of different fades and things like that so apply and OK uh, let's just go back into performance again uh, just to show you see if you have a 32 or 64 bit version of Windows this is the 64 bit version but just to confirm it uh, so 4 gig of RAM as well 64 bit operating system ARM based processor Windows 11 Pro so now I want to overclock because it's only at 1.5 gigahertz uh, the Pi 400 is default at 1800 but I overclocked it to 2.3 I'm not going to go quite as high as 2.3 with this DeSalvo case even though the cooling properties are excellent on it. So next up I'm going to overclock and I'm going to get the WOR CP tool from the Discord. So if I type in WOR and Discord. Now a lot of people struggle to join the Discord. Oh and this is interesting because on this page uh, my tutorial comes up Windows 10 or Raspberry Pi how to join the Discord. So if you struggle with it to try and find the download page uh, and authorize it and everything just watch that video and it will show you how to do it. Uh, obviously I'm already registered on it so I'm just going to log in normally. Okay so the download we need is in the download section which is here so if I click on that and you can see the WOR control panel that's the one we want so if I click on that that will download. So if we click on that on the three dots again and keep show more and keep anyway there is another tool here uh, which is very good which is the boot partition mount utility and uh, this is a way of getting the config.txt up so you can have a look and change various different settings on the Pi but I'm not going to do that in this video I have shown it in a previous video so let's uh, well I'll go to that location because I usually put this on the desktop Let's close down the web browser, I don't need that anymore, and just drag this over. There we go. Now I overclocked in the previous video with WRCP 2.1, so I'm hoping 2.3 works exactly the same. So shift and right click and run as administrator. Click more info and run anyway. And yes. You can see it's coming up. So the bit we need is in settings. So if I click on that, I'm going to do the overclock first of all. So if I drag this slider at the top where it says preset, you can see it moves up. And the over voltage goes up as well, which is very handy. Uh, so 2.1 gigahertz and an over voltage of 6 is absolutely fine on my Pi 4 normally. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, you can see the resolution we can change as well. I'm going to do the over overclock first of all. So let's tick that. And I believe that's all done, so I'm going to close that down and I'm going to restart. Okay, so that's restarted fine, so Control Alt Delete, Task Manager, and Performance, and you can see 2.1 gigahertz. Now let's have a look at the WORCP tool again and let's try and uh, change the resolution, I think. Uh, there are other things in here as well. You can install some apps from this. I haven't tried any on this build yet. So you can see if I click on applications, there are various things in there that you can install. Um, but uh, let's go back into settings and uh, I think I'm going to try just lowering that resolution uh, down to 720 because I've found really good performance on the Pi. To be honest, I haven't felt I needed it that much on this, but certainly if I'm going to try some games, I think I'm going to put it in that. So 1280 by 720 and let's tick that. I don't know if this needs a restart to apply. Looks like it probably does. So let's do that as well. So let's try Alt F4. Yeah, that still works. And restart. Okay, so that's restarted and it's definitely 720. You can tell by the text on the screen. 
So let's just sign in. And we should find it's a little bit faster and certainly better if we're going to try some casual games or things like that. It's going to run better at 720 resolution. But if you're going to be using productivity apps or web browsing or just casual apps, uh, you're going to find that 1080 is fine. But if you want a bit more performance, dropping it down to 720 is going to help. Check out my WOR playlist for all the latest information. And uh, there's lots of tips in there that apply to Windows 10 and things that I've run on. Uh, Windows 10 which you'll find will probably work even better on Windows 11 from what I've seen it does seem to run a bit better on the Pi Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe